Sorry, that's my jam. Yeah. Okay. Stefan is a bag of skin that has swallowed a skeleton key. His lankiness tastes like a pomegranate that is not shapely and does not have insides. When he holds me, runs his freshly cut nails over my spine as though I am a library that leaves him gasping. A jazz band is playing between our bodies. He doesn't deny that he is cold when the 3 a.m. desert chill runs through my subconscious and my eyes close as I taste the red on my lips. I know it's either my own blood or pomegranate juice mixed with honey. I read somewhere that you cannot dream about someone you have never seen, but I dream of Stefan, and I simply can't place where I have seen this thin, driftwood boy before. I'm not sure how I know that he actually likes the smell of a skunk stink, or that his favorite song is Broad Ripple is Burning by Margot and the Nuclear So-and-Sos. And as I fall asleep each night, I notice how he changes. Stefan has become a coat hanger with the thinnest nightdress draped over it. He says he cannot eat anymore. Everything in his mouth tastes like black stringy feathers. When I make him lunch, he throws it all up right in front of me. Stefan compares himself to a pile of ham bones right after a Navidad dinner. But I tell him he's so much more than that. He's the presence under the tree. He's the tinsel in my hair. But he doesn't believe me. And I don't think he will ever believe me. I have never known how to help someone who feels like they are expanding into something hideous when in reality, they are shrinking into their own demise. When Stefan's hair shears itself out on the pillow, I tuck it away into a Ziploc, as though I am saving it to glue back into its roots. When he cries after purging, I can't think of anything to say that's helpful, so I rub his back in the silence. So I shut my eyes at 11.30 one night and I see that Stefan is not whole. He is in bits and bobs over the hardwood floor of this night terror with a throat that is given out and burns from all the bile. I put a finger to his wrist and I do not feel the throbbing that was there. Last night, Stefan has faded like wallpaper in a house that has stood longer than a human life and now? I can't help but cry too. I cannot help but feel as though I too am a cadaver now because I never got to see him with another full head of hair. I never saw him with a round and sunny face. And then it's time to wake up. I am shaking and I am hungry.